Hey guys, this is Henry from Ovidia again. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to manually change a MIDI velocity in Studio One. So let's say that you just created a virtual instrument and you recorded uh, some kind of MIDI phrase, like the one we have right here. Uh, let's go ahead and press play to listen to it really quick. Okay, so a very simple MIDI part. Uh, now, let's say that you like the performance, but by some reason, you want to change a single note, okay? You have two options. You could either re-record it, which you could always do, or you could manually change the velocity of that note. Because let's say that you want it to be louder, for example. Let's say you want to make the very first note louder, just the first note. Instead of re-recording it, uh, Studio One gives you the possibility of manually editing that velocity to make it either louder or softer. How do we do that? Well, if you double click on the actual MIDI event, you're going to see the piano roll like we've, we've talked before. Here you can see all your notes, right? If you click on the very first note, that's a G3 note. Uh, so you can see now it's highlighted, so we can work on that note. Now, down here, all these vertical bars represent velocity levels. Um, as you can see, the first note has a vertical bar assigned to it. The second note has another vertical bar assigned to it, so on and so forth. So if you want to make that first note, uh, velocity-wise, louder, as soon as you click on it to select it, then you can go to that velocity bar, and then you can click and drag up. So I just dragged it up as, as high as I can. So it's the loudest as we can actually make it. So if I press play, this note should now sound way louder than the rest of the notes. Let's see what happens. And that's it. So we just made our very first note louder by editing the velocity and basically, uh, as I said before, going into your um, piano roll, clicking on the velocity, if you want to call it that vertical bar that represents the velocity, clicking and dragging it up. Uh, conversely, you can click it and then drag it down to make it softer. And that's how you manually edit velocities, uh, or MIDI velocities in Studio One. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.